Hey, everybody. Side outside, so you know what that means? It's apple season. Several years ago, I planted me a, uh, me and Vicky planted a Granny Smith apple tree, and this year it is just loaded with apples. So, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, today I'm gonna make some uh, apple fritters. I went upstairs, I went up to the house already and I mixed a lot of my dry ingredients together. I'm going to tell you what's in here in a little bit. And got my oil prime with. And I got an egg and stuff. I'm going to explain a little bit about what I'm going to do to my apples. And I got a little powdered sugar for my, for my topping. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these apples up. I'm going to peel them and I'm going to cut them up in little small squares. And, uh, I may show a little bit of that. And uh, the one thing I don't like about apple fritters, a lot of time when everybody cooks them, uh, the apple seems kind of not done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up in little squares. I'm going to take about a teaspoon, a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to get this butter brown and uh, I'm going to cook these apples in there a little bit. Not too much. I don't want them to get done. I'll be more more like undone than too done. So just enough to take a little bit of the edge off them so they won't be hard when they're in the fritters. And that's what I like. And as they cook, I'm going to put a little bit of a, about a tablespoon of sugar in there and kind of uh, caramelize those up and kind of get that going. That's kind of going to start out. All right. Hey, y'all stand by. So I'm going to take three of these apples and I'm going to peel them. And after I peel them, uh, I'm going to quarter them, then I'm going to cut the core out of them. And uh, probably the easier way to do this is uh, cut the tops off, cut the top, cut the bottom, and take a, uh, uh, a peeler and just go do it that way. But uh, I like doing it this way, uh, kind of go around, because it kind of reminds me when I was young. Be sitting out on a, on a southern evening, my uh, sitting out with my dad, and I'd be watching him uh, peel this apple, and he would start from one end, and he would go through the whole thing, trying to make one solid peel, and uh, everybody would be watching him, and sometime uh, his uh, deputy would be watching him. I knew he wanted to. Uh, uh, Barney would uh, want him to uh, to mess up. And, no, hell no, that was Andy Griffin. I, I saw that show on TV. But anyway, uh, same thing. Get them all cut. Get all three cut, quarter, and get them out and cut them into small pieces. Got them peeled. Now I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these bad boys and I'm gonna get them real small. Chop them up in little bits. Doesn't matter if they're perfect because they're gonna be inside those fritters. And ain't nobody gonna be able to see them. Ain't nobody gonna be able to judge them. I like that. That's what I like about these Granny Smith apples. They're kind of kind of hard. I think if you try to do this with a regular apple, it'll get all juicy and a lot of water. And you won't use them. Plus, they won't have that delicious tartness. Now this is the first year this this tree produced. These apples probably not going to be as great as some, but uh, they're going to be all right. We're going to have so much other deliciousness, deliciousness cooked around them that you won't be able to notice that these are off a little bit. But I think they're going to be fine. Ooh, look at them chopping skills, huh? I don't watch enough cooking shows in order to be a better tester. Watching them doing two different things, right? Now, for this next step, this may be something you may or may not want to do. But uh, like I say, I don't like the apples to be too raw. So uh, I'm gonna put them in this butter. And, uh, I got them all in little small pieces. Make sure they all broke up. We're not making apple donuts or nothing. Whoops. Hey, well, I got him. I got him. But uh, I'm going to 
we'll get them on there and get a little of that butter on them. You buy a couple pieces that are a little too big and get in. Chop them a little better. Get them separated. Keep them separated. I'm going to let them cook a little bit and get, get kind of brown. Like I say, not even close to being done, but just enough where they get where they've cooked some. Because I don't like them old raw, hard apples in my fritters. I like them soft, like my ma used to make them. Ah, oh, Lord, it's easy. Ooh, oh, this is my grandma. All right. All right, I'll let that get right there for a while. I put about a tablespoon of sugar in there, not a whole lot, just enough to kind of help work that glaze a little. And I think a secret on this is to um, cook them slow. Still working. I'm just trying to soften them up, not trying to cook them. So I put that glaze on them joints. See, ooh, that's so very good. Lord, that's going to be good. Now, once you got your apples where you think they're done, go ahead and put them in a sieve. So, uh, if you got any water on them, it'll drain off. Okay, we got the apples. Uh, Apples cooked and got that set aside. Now let's talk about the rest of the ingredients. It's kind of your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients. <clears throat> I mixed them all together upstairs. Uh, I mean upstairs. Uh, I'm in my cabin down the hill and I start out with about two and a half, uh, about two and a half cups of uh, plain flour, and then with that is wound up being about one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder to uh, go in there with that and. Uh, then uh, about a half a cup of sugar, which is already in that. But normally I would put that in here. A little, uh, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. Uh, cinnamon, uh, not a lot. I mean, when they find about cinnamon, hey, you put too much cinnamon in something, hey, turn your stomach up, so. Uh, anyway, uh, about a, um, about a half a, about a half a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, of cinnamon and nutmeg, only about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now cinnamon, tear your stomach up, too much nut, too much nutmeg, put you in the hospital. Do not mix the two up, okay? So, if you have dry ginger, I would go ahead and put my ginger in there. Put my ginger, about a half, I mean about a half of a teaspoon of this. This is a, a wet ginger, wet. I would have an egg, which I've mixed up. Then I put about two tablespoons of butter, and I've let it melt. Make sure your butter's not hot when you mix it in here, okay? Because if you do it, put it in here when it's hot, it's gonna start cooking your egg, right? So then I'm going to, I always pour it down the side and blend it in. Okay, now, for the last of your wet ingredient, the next thing I put in here, it's not, it's not dead water, but it is, I believe it's called apple cider seltzer. Okay, you can purchase that, but if you don't have that, just take apple cider and put a little seltzer water in it. And it takes about a half a cup. So I'm gonna pour about a half, it's about a half a cup right there. And like I said, you can use milk if you want to do it. Oh boy, that looks good. Ooh, All right, then after that point, I'm going to take my wet ingredients and I'm going to pour it into my dry. And I'm going to start stirring it as I go. And uh, I kind of look at this like, um, kind of like hush puppy. You're making hush. Have you ever made hush puppies? That's the way these things are going to turn out. Now you can't see that. Ooh, oh, that's good, see? I still haven't put my apples in there yet. See how good that's looking? Oh, that smells so good. So, all right, we'll stop right there. Take my apples. Ooh, let's see. Now, if I was gonna do hush puppies, look at that boy. Oh, man, that's just right. That's just right. All right, so now, got that mix up. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm get my skillet, get some hot grease going. Go cook these bad boys up, son. Yeah. A salt rifle, shoot salt. Send them to fly hollow. And 
Oh, y'all scared now. Where y'all at now? Where y'all at now? Okay, next step on this is to get that grease up to about 350 degrees. 27, 29, it's getting hotter. I'm sticking my spoon in there like that, get that hot. And I just do it like I'm cooking hush puppies. Look at that. You don't worry about the shape. Cause these are homemade. Oh, all of them have different shapes, that's me, cause that's homemade. See, using that thermometer ain't a whole lot of guesswork. It's about like half of them. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got like seven cooking right there. I'm gonna let them boys cook them. I'm cooking cook just like I cook hush puppies. I need to hold my stomach in. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna pass that fell in the grease. All right, Kill my second batch. And yeah, it looks like uh, this recipe is gonna make about 15. And uh, I, I normally cook at about uh, deep fry at about 350. But these I'm doing at about 335. Which I think, uh, you know, how fast, you know, sugar cooks and all, might be a better, uh, better thing. I'm, I'm more about. Uh, my experience is more about deep frying fish and food and I mean meat, but uh, dealing with pastries is a little bit different. You know, when you deal with a donut or something like that. So, hey, I'm learning a mile a minute. Right now is uh, the glaze. I don't know if you guys ever, if you got somewhere in my age, uh, you may have went through that period where you, your mama bought them little uh, canned, uh, canned uh, cinnamon rolls with that little, that little Thing at the little, little uh, can at the end. This is just simply just uh, powdered sugar and uh, use some of that same uh, seltzer. Uh, I put early. All right, now it's called the drizzle. You gonna serve them hot? You really can't do this, but uh, you know, I'm gonna cool off a little bit. But other, this is about half, uh, a little more than half of what I cooked out of the recipe. The other half I'm not drizzling because I don't like it with this. But uh, bam! Look at that! Woo! Yeah, I'm taking these up to the house. Right past that old apple tree where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it was a uh, 